Welcome everybody to Zexpress. I'm going to be showing you how to use LastPass password manager totally for free. This one is the most easy way to secure access to a lot of applications that you already have. So uh, maybe you have been into the idea that you have an account into, let's say, for example, into Google, you have an account into, into Windows, you have an account into Peng, you have an account into Netflix, uh, Amazon, GitHub, installation, and you have to, to actually just check it out and import the different emails and different passcodes as you're getting started. LastPass is going to be helping us to protect everything, all the passcodes in just one place. So there is an actual free version. If you wanted to check the, out the actual pricing that appears into LastPass, you can always go into lastpass.com. And once you are in here, you want to focus into the upper size as pricing and look out for personal plans, whether that would be for yourself, for your business, for a company, whatever. So here, as you can see, we have truly affordable prices, for example, starting from a free version, we have $3 per month and $4 per month. So it's going to be really, really easy. And what this it includes is improves your premier cloud, access across all devices, one to many sharing, advanced multi-factor options, emergency access and person and customer support. We're going to be using the free version, which is going to give us a one user account, access to one device type. We can save out of fill passcodes, one-on-one -on -one sharing, passcode generator, uh, passcode list, logging, security dashboard, and monitoring dark web. So what I want to do is to create into get last pass totally for free. And once you are here, it's going to be asking you to install the browser extension, then log in using the account we have just created. So what I want to do is to move on into Google Chrome. I wanted to go and look out for last pass hit into add to brave. In my case, this is my extension. So I'm going to hit into add extension. So once you have successfully done this into the upper side that says extensions, you should see that your new extension should be appearing in here. As you can see now, my last pass is now uh, logged it in. Into the lower part, we can see that we have all our items. We have the sharing center. We have passcodes, node, addresses, payment cards, and banking accounts. In order to get started, I'm gonna hit into all the items. Now, everything we need to use to get started is to organize all our information. So let's go into adding our first passcode. Let's say, for example, that I'm going to be adding my information of Dropbox. So I hit into in here, and then it's going to be telling us that we are already logged in with our Dropbox account. I'm going to close this one, and here I'm going to input my custom email. Now, as you can see, these add to the side to the passcode. You want to hit into add passcode you have added your first passcode correctly. Once I added all my information here, I'm going to try to just reload the page and check it out here. Here is our actual passcodes. So usually you can hit into edit to change your new passcode. Here's your email. Uh, you can add notes if you want to. And now let's go into the sharing center. Into the sharing center, we can create a shared folder, for example. So we're going to get into add share folder. And usually what brings us in here is that we can share, um, let's say, all our information to a, pa a family. So all in here is going to be appearing. Our passcode, our email, everything's going to be uh, added in here. So we don't have to do absolutely anything, but just to add a shared folder. Now, if you go into addresses, usually into addresses is our personal information about our name and folder, title, uh, first, last name, username, all this information, you can just copy this one and paste it when we wanted to sign it up into somewhere else. So this is why you wanted to import your address information in here, as well as your payment card and your banking account. So you don't have to look out for your banking account somewhere else into a notebook, into your phone number, somewhere else. So everything is going to be just inside lastpass.com. If you go directly into the security dashboard, you can check it out. We have the security score. This security score is going to be tell us uh, how much our account is being protected. So we can check it out at risk passcodes zero, trusted device zero, permitted mobile device zero, and multi factor authentication is enacted. So usually it's going to be helping us to have an extra layer of protection to our uh, last account. Even we have dark web monitoring. So we're going to get into stop monitoring and you can see that your email might be actually compromised uh, because we are actually into the dark web. So what you wanted to do to try to delete this actual breaching side is to try to 
change your passcode from this side immediately. If you use the same passcode elsewhere, change it the two. So there you have it, guys. As you can see, it's not that hard to use this actual great, great application to come helping us to level up and scale our information, security stuff, and much more. So with that being said, guys, if you haven't reached the very end of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tools of how we can get started here into LastPass. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, I can see you next time.